Welcome to part three, coating your paper. I have a lot of chemicals, so I divided these chemicals into smaller bottles. You like the cool sticker I made? You can use any brown glass bottles for your chemistry, but you still will need to keep it in a dark, cool place. Only use plastic droppers. Glass ones are unreliable in measurements. You will need to pipe out the specific number of drops to coat your size paper into a shot glass dedicated to this chemistry. This paper is cut to a three and a quarter by six inches. So I will use eight drops of solution A and eight drops of solution B. Next, swirl the solution into the glass, then pour across the paper. It may take some practice to get a line when you're pouring the solution out of the shot glass. Using a wet hockey brush, smooth the solution across the paper. You always want to use a wet brush because a dry one will soak up your chemical and you want the paper to soak up your chemical. Finally, put the paper in a light tight box until the coating has dried. 